What's going on guys, Thomas Garretts here and in this video I'm going to show you the 12 best side hustle ideas to make money in 2020 with good pay. And you also don't even need any experience at all. I mean, sure, you probably will get better results if you are better at something or have more experience, but you don't need any experience to get started and the best experience is actually getting started. And even if these side hustles were just to pay off debt for you or go out with your significant other a little bit more or whatever, buy your family something nice, that's a win for me. Because for me, it was not until I had my side hustle that allowed me to pay off debt and finally just start having some extra money to do those types of things. So I truly believe that any one of these could do that for you. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so for number one, this is actually something different. And a lot of these are gonna be, I just hit my son, a lot of these are gonna be different. Like you're not gonna see these many places, right? So number one is out of the box. And I actually have a friend doing this and he's on Facebook hustling to get clients. And he's a car washer. Actually, he's a detailer, but I mean, it's kind of the same, right? Like where you detail cars, you make them really nice inside, you clean out the vents and you can buy these car detailer like kits on Amazon at Target or whatever big box store you have around you. And pretty much all you gotta do is buy your supplies and then you wanna get clients by promoting it via social media. Like you can just message people or make posts or if you like, for example, wash your parents' cars and take some pictures, post them on Instagram, post it on Facebook and be like, look, I'll do this for you for 50 bucks or whatever the price. And that's super cool because really, I mean, it probably costs you maybe 40 bucks, 50 bucks. I don't know how much it costs, probably not much. Um, but then you can just use that stuff for a while. So it's super cool. I think that's a great side hustle and it doesn't require much money. Again, no experience and you can make some good money. It'll take you what? an hour max to make 50 bucks, if not more, depending if they got a nice car or whatever, how much money they got, you might charge them different. Like if someone's broke, you might not charge them 50 bucks. But if someone's rich, you might charge them 200. Like that's legit, people pay that money. And that's gonna take you an hour, maybe two. So that's like 100 bucks an hour. So it could be some pretty insane money. So anyways, that's number one. Number two, I love this one. And I think I talked about this in my other video in a way but like indirectly, I was talking about arbitrage where it's just like buying and selling stuff, which is kind of garage sale flipping. You're just buying stuff from garage sales and flipping it on eBay. I mean, Gary V has this trash talks episode where he does this, he loves it. He goes to these freaking uh, garage sales and he buys like coffee mugs, milk mugs, video games, stuffed animals, stuff like that. There's a market for it on eBay, on all these other new apps popping up that you can buy and sell stuff on. And that's a great side hustle. Definitely a great side hustle. And again, I mean, really all you need for that is like, I guess a vehicle to get around in the gas, but, or you could just walk around if there's some in your neighborhood or whatever, you know, or go with a friend and have them drive. So that's another great one. Also, these are in no specific order. However, the last one, I should have mentioned, the last one is something that is making me $1,000. And that's my side hustle that allowed me to pay off some of my debt. So definitely stay till the end. And if you're enjoying this video, make sure to smash the like button. Now, number three is something so cool. This is charging scooters. And you can go to lime.com. I got it open right here. You can become a lime juicer, they call it. That's where you charge the, <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. But so you're juicing up the scooters, you're charging them up. And this will be best if you have a truck. I think I said that here, yeah, truck is best because the more scooters you get, the more money you make, right? And and the way I got here, it was like up at the top. Let's see, I'll just go back. Um, I think I went join us, yep. So join us and then go to charge scooters. Okay, so that's lime.com. Probably redirects to this site, lime.com. Okay, no, that's that's not it. Here, hold on. It's li.me, I'll... Uh, put this here so it doesn't get confused. Oops. So li dot me slash careers, something like that, right? That's I think that's what we are at. So let's try this again. Yeah, this should work. Yep. So it'll bring you here and then you just go to charge scooters. So I think that's super cool, depending where you're at in the world. But these are getting huge. I mean, definitely I live in Minnesota. And I mean, around the U of M, these things are huge. So definitely a good side hustle. 
All right, so now for this one, we got renting out your car for extra money. Okay, so you can do this on a place called Turo.com and that's super, super cool because if, for example, if you have an extra car or if you just don't drive that much, like for me, when I took my 30 day leave from work, I literally used like a tank of gas. I did not drive hardly at all. And I could have rented out my car to make money if anyone wanted my car. I mean, it's not gonna get much because I don't have like a super nice car. But the better of a car you have, the more you're going to make. But I think it's just super cool that there's even something like this that exists. I mean, I think we're going from like, you know, a, a time where like people were like, don't talk to strangers to where like you'll get into an Uber with like a complete stranger. And, you know, it's just so funny to me. But anyways, this is <laughs> this is the next side hustle. Uh, that's Turo.com. So. The next one, you may have heard of this. I personally hadn't until I started researching, and I think this one's pretty cool. So this is Amazon Flex, okay? So you're basically a delivery driver, but what you do is you pick up packages from an Amazon delivery station, and you drop them off directly to the customer. So if you go to flex.amazon.com, you can just click get started, and then you can earn anywhere from 18 to $25 an hour flexible hours, and then you can be your own boss. So that's, I mean, that's pretty much what you're looking for in any side hustle. So I think that's super cool. And then if you have any questions, you can go to FAQs, frequently asked questions, and that's how you do that. Now, this next one, I mean, I really don't need to tell you what it is, right? I mean, this is Uber and Lyft. I mean, these are two of the biggest companies nowadays, right? Like, everyone knows what these are. If you don't, okay, because... I'll be kind to everyone. Some people may not. But what it is, is it's a it's a middleman, basically. It's kind of like what I do online, but it's it's the largest taxi company in the world. I mean, Uber specifically. Lyft is very close. I'm sure I'm not exactly positive on the numbers. I know Uber's bigger, last I checked. But they don't own any taxi cabs. So they're the middleman. They connect a driver with someone who needs to go somewhere and they get paid and everyone else gets paid. So it's, it's super interesting um, how things work nowadays. I mean, you think of these things like Expedia or Hotels.com, these huge companies, but they don't own any hotels. They don't own any airplanes. Uber doesn't own any taxi cabs. So that's why I think being a middleman, especially like the side hustle I'm going to show you at the end, it's so powerful because there's so many things that that lets you do and so many things that you also don't have to deal with because of it. You know what I mean? Like Uber doesn't have to deal with car repairs, which I'm sure was one of the most obnoxious things to deal with as a taxi company. Or you don't need the medallions like you did in New York. I mean, there's so much that goes along that is good about being a middleman. And I think it's just so powerful. Now, this next one is... Honestly, I did a complete TikTok on this one, and I think it's probably one of the most powerful side hustles out there, just period, right? Because not only does it not require any money to get started, again, no experience, it pays great, but anyone can do it, like, and it's so easy, you can do it from home, I mean, I could go on. And this is being a freelancer. And sure, you could go to websites like Fiverr and Upwork. I don't have Fiverr open. I don't know. Here, I'll, I'll go to Fiverr. You may know what it is, but it's just freelance stuff. So it's right here. And you can become a seller up here. And it's just being a freelancer. It's doing jobs. So if I go to Upwork and I'm like uh, editing, I'm going to find people who are on here willing to do editing if it ever loads <laughs> right here. So you can see these people are just freelancers. And same on Fiverr. I could do the same thing. It's like try logo animation. So we'll do it. I typed that wrong. All right, now typing this in, you're gonna find so many people on here. Now, the thing about Fiverr and Upwork is you can see right here, it goes kind of like Amazon. You have to have, uh, what are these, reviews or like stars, you know, ratings basically. So it's kind of hard to get started on these websites as a complete beginner. But the reason I think it's so powerful as being a freelancer is because you can just go on social media and just become a part of a community. And for example, if you're really good at editing or you're really good at 
making social media posts or like if you're really into finance, right? And you join some Facebook groups around finance. I guarantee you that there's hundreds of people in these Facebook groups who need Facebook posts done for finance. And if you know everything about finance, and even if you don't, you can research it and you just start posting for them on Facebook. Or if they need, example, like funnels made, if they need editing for their videos, if they need support, if you need to answer the phones, if they need email, any graphics done. I mean, there's so many things you can do. Like, and if you don't think you know how to do something, I guarantee you do, first of all, but if you really don't think you can do anything, I promise doing is the best experience, like I said at the beginning. And also YouTube is one of the best teachers. I've learned how to do a crazy amount of things that I never would have imagined. Like seriously, I used to think like years ago, like probably five years ago, I remember my friend was like, cause I was kind of a nerd, but my friend was like, you don't know how to make a website. Not that he did, but he, he just figured like all nerds knew if they knew how to play computer games, they'd know how to make a website. And this is probably more than five years ago now, but what, I'm getting old. But um, I just thought that that was like so crazy, right? Like that's insane. Like how I don't think I could ever make a website. But now I teach people to make websites and grow their online business and make money from the internet. It's just so crazy how how fast things can change and how crazy the brain is, right? Like we want to learn. Our learning is amazing. I think that's so important is to just always be learning, right? And I guarantee you can find something to be a freelancer for and it's super powerful. So that's enough with that. I hope you like that one though. That's one of my favorite. Now, number eight, this is actually the business model that I did before I got into the one I'm in now. If you've watched my channel before, you know what it is, but just stay, stay till the end. You're going to like this. I promise you what drop shipping is. If you have no idea, it's just selling straight from the distributor to the customer. Okay. So again, you're the middleman, but you don't hold inventory like a regular target or Walmart, right? Like you just, if someone orders through you, you order from the person, from the distributor, and ship it straight to their address. So it's super cool, actually. And the reason why I didn't like drop shipping is because I had to run ads. I loved making the website. This is where I first made a website, and I, I truly loved it. I learned a lot. But I didn't like that I had to run Facebook ads. I really didn't like that. I had to spend like $2,000 to make like 2200 and I paid like I probably ended up losing about 200 after costs and all that stuff but anyways how it works is you go to Shopify and you you start a free trial and you make your website that's the part I liked okay then the idea I guess is to go to something like AliExpress or Alibaba's the sister company and it's this is like wholesale Alibaba AliExpress you look at stuff on here. It's super cheap. It's coming straight from China though. So it's typically it takes a little longer. This may be way different from when I did it. It's been over a year now probably, but that's the idea of it. So, and you could source products from United States. It might be a little more expensive, but that's the idea. You make a website or a store around a product or products and then you run Facebook ads or you make a brand on Instagram or whatever. So that's how you do that. Now, number nine, this one's actually pretty interesting and this one wouldn't be for me, but this is writing blog posts for people or sales copy if you have the experience, like words on paper or on the website, I guess you could call it, or in emails. And the main one, I guess, is writing content, writing blog posts. And you can do this at the Barefoot Writer or iWriter. I got both of them open right here. And yeah, so that's something you could do if you're good at writing. This is not something I would choose for a beginner, but you don't need experience. It's super easy to learn. If you like writing though, this is perfect for you, okay? So that's number nine. Now, number 10, we're almost there. This is obviously one of my favorite, and this is being a YouTuber or an influencer. But how you do this, like the, the idea of it is picking a niche and then I guess I say right here, the next side hustle will help you with that. Like 
picking your niche and I have a free bonus for you for staying this long. So I have, well, I'll just show you the next one. So, I mean, we all know what YouTubers and influencer are. It's being like a social media influencer, right? So we, we know what that is. I mean, I'm assuming, but it's just having a social media and being big on social media basically and making money from it. But yeah, so anyways, I'm going to go to the next one because it kind of combines with it. So this business model is affiliate marketing, but it's a low ticket affiliate marketing. And I actually have an affiliate marketing beginner's guide and it's very simple. I think it's like seven pages, like legit. It's super simple to read and it just tells you like it simplifies starting an online business with affiliate marketing, but it also could mean for any business model, but it's just specifically affiliate marketing because that's what I do. Now, if you have no idea what affiliate marketing is, again, check out that guide. It's completely free. That's linked in the description below, but you're selling other people's products. Again, you're the middleman, right? Like this is a thing, I guess. <laughs> you're the middleman now. So no drugs, I promise. <laughs> but what it is, is you're taking, for example, a digital product and someone wants that product, they purchase it through your special affiliate link and you get a commission. It's like you're working at Sunglasses Hut and you just sold me a pair of sunglasses and you got a commission. It's very simple. Now, there's huge like businesses like Amazon, Walmart, Target, they have affiliate programs. Like if you scroll down, I'm a part of the affiliate programs. Like it's legit. And the reason why they give us a commission is because they didn't have to pay for those people coming in. We paid for it or we got it by creating content. So it's all free marketing for them. So that's why we get a commission. It's free money for them, really. It's, it's very smart and it's a very powerful business model. Now for low ticket, though, there are a few options. I mean, there's tons of options, but these are the main ones. Okay, so I would say ClickBank is the most popular and then there's JVZoo and Warrior Plus. Warrior Plus and JVZoo, I would stay away from if you're a complete beginner. And the reason being is because you have to get approved to their products. And a lot of the time, if you're like, you've never done anything there, they may not approve you. But on ClickBank, you're approved for 99% of the, the products automatically. You don't have to get approval. Super simple. And this is ClickBank. And you just go to Affiliate Marketplace after you create an account. I have tons of videos on ClickBank. I think it's great. Um, I'll link up above to a playlist if you want to check that out. But definitely, you're going to want to stay for this last one. And you can check that playlist out after. But this is the final number 12 side hustle. And number 12, the side hustle that makes me $1,000 commissions is high ticket affiliate marketing. <laughs> All right. So anyways, you can see right here, these are $1,000 commissions. I mean, this is absolutely insane. And again, like I couldn't make any money online until I got started with this one company. And this is when I started paying off my debt and really just like winning online, right? I'm not saying I'm like, I've made a million dollars or anything. No, that's not. I was not long ago in your position. I, I just started less than a year ago. And it's crazy to me because I made my first $2,000 with 200 subscribers on YouTube. And you can see right here, I mean, he has 350,000, he has 380,000, I mean, and I'm up here with 200. So you don't need a crazy big audience to make money with this. It's insane, right? So anyways, that's truly the best business model. I mean, affiliate marketing is the best business model. High ticket affiliate marketing is just a, a step above because it's just so much better. More money is always better. I don't know anyone who would say, I'd rather have less money right? So anyways, if you want to get started with this, you can actually get started for less than the cost of a large iced coffee. Okay, so it's going to be the first link in the description. So just make sure to click that link. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, but just make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, click that bell notification. So you get notified every time I upload a new video. And that's all I got. Remember to smash that first link in the description. And I'll see you on the next video.